African beets are spreading worldwide due largely to a growing African population around the globe. But it's not just audiences from the diaspora that are dancing to the rhythm. As VOA's Jesusa Menoni reports, the international rise of Afrobeat is causing a stir in the music industry and influencing culture and markets in the West. Hot beats from Africa are reaching airwaves and set lists as far away as Washington, D.C. My favorite song on there, that's the, uh, the uh, Follow You. Yeah. Known as Afropop or Afrobeats, the music genre, once limited to African circles, has gained traction in the West. It's been really great seeing artists that a lot of us know in Africa make it on New York radio or DC radio or a radio station in Iowa. Um, and people actually gravitating towards it. Afrobeats got a big boost in recent years from songs that feature transatlantic collaborations with American chart toppers like Chris Brown, Drake, and Rick Ross. But those artists shouldn't get all the credit for sparking interest in the music genre, says cultural architect Rissa Kath Okede. These folks, these artists, have always had their own following. So even if you are a burner boy or, you know, you know, Yemi Lade or something like that, and you're in Nigeria, there are Nigerians all over the world. So their music is always going to travel with the people. Working with billboard artists could mean a shot at global fame, says Cameroonian Afro pop star Salatil, who recently worked with Beyonce on the Lion King soundtrack. Singing on the same song with Beyonce and Pharrell Williams, it means um, many more people are going to look, many more people are going to look onto Salatiel, the artist, who we see, and uh, how come he's on this album. And as African artists seek to dominate new markets, it's a wake-up call that African countries need to beef up their own music industries. I think our infrastructure needs to be tighter, like the, the whole African music industry in general. Like, royalties is not a thing. And I don't know how producers eat. That means artists are taking their talents elsewhere. Several African acts have signed record deals with big American labels. Nigerian musician Iceberg Slim says that's because the world is craving an authentic taste of Africa. So we have to give them Africa, we have to give them Nigeria, we have to give them our culture. So it's definitely important that we stick to our sounds and stick to our cultures. And that's basically what we're, you know, we're selling them. This whole Afrobeats movement, we're just selling a culture. And that business is booming, bringing in fans from far beyond Africa's borders. Jesus Semeoni, VOA News, Washington.